Welcome to Seneca, Kansas. Seneca was founded in 1857 and was named after Seneca County, Ohio. It wasn't until 1870, though, that it was incorporated as a city. This is a picture of Seneca's classic Main Street from way back when. As you can see in this picture, Seneca's Main Street has not changed that much in all of these years. The first post office in Seneca was established in 1858, and to this day it stands on Main Street. Across the street from the post office is the Seneca Free Library. On the left, you can see the Classic Library, which was in use until around 1998, upon which the library you see on the right was built. Down the street, there used to be a hotel called the Guilford Hotel. It was a very, very fancy place. Unfortunately, it went out of business, and after it sat there for so many years unused, they finally decided to tear it down, replacing it with Community National Bank. Just a few blocks off of Main Street stands the Sheriff's Building and Old Jailhouse. Though it is no longer in use, it is a valued historical site and is well preserved by the Nemaha County Historical Society. Across the street from the jailhouse used to stand the old high school. It has long since been torn down due to problems with its structural integrity. One interesting fact about it was that it had its gym on the second floor. Just a few blocks away from the old high school was the old grade school. Unfortunately, in 2007, it was burned down. On the other side of town stands the new high school. Nemaha Valley High School started in 1979 with a consolidation of surrounding school districts, some of which included the Seneca School District, the Kelly School District, and the Oneida School District. The third school system in Seneca is St. Peter and Paul Catholic School. St. Peter and Paul was founded in 1896. It consisted of, from the left, a convent, a school building, and a auditorium. The convent has since been torn down, as has the school building. It has been replaced with a new building in 2009. The auditorium, aka the barn, is still up and running. Across the street from the school is the St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church. As you can see in the background of this picture, it is just in front of the school. Next to the church is the Father's house, where the priests live. It is still there today. Over time, the church itself has been remodeled on multiple occasions. It started like this, and a century later, it looked like this. In 2011, it was completely remodeled on the inside to resemble the original interior. An narthex addition was also added to the outside. I hope you enjoyed our visit to Seneca. Please come and stop by anytime.